Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What a beautiful day. Is our video? I'm here. So we've got you. I'm Michael. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get in this place. Oh, I think you're doing mine. How's it going? Everybody's on? I, I don't know. I don't think they can hear us or see us. Michael, can you speak out? Hi, I can see. I can see the screen. I'll be there very shortly. Jan, are you uh, sure that the owl is connected to your laptop? I thought I was, but I will. Are you not seeing us, Michael? I'm only seeing you. Okay. Uh, then that so it's, it's, it's being from the camera on your laptop, not on the owl. Well, Correct. That's your laptop picture. Hey, Miranda, how do you do that? Like, we that <laughs> Is the USB cord connected from your laptop to the owl? Yes. Anytime you guys need what if you always say you're uh, just a sec here. Yes, it's connected, but let's jiggle it because yes, it's obviously it is connected to my computer. Yes, it all looks like it's connected correctly. And, and is the power connected to the owl? Yes, the, yes. Owl is on. the owl is on. It's just that we had a little just, trouble just, with the connection this morning, um, Michael, so we kind of jerry rigged it. It's stripped. The... Well, it's just a tripod. That's... Okay, well, this I... this should be on, and it's not. I'm uh, I'm almost at the building, so I'll see you in a second. All right, we may pause for Michael. Can you go in your assistant preferences and displays and see if you need to choose a different display? Hi. Hi. What? How are you? You don't want to display? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, that's no problem here, guys. I actually appreciate it. I don't think anyone has ever done it for me before. So thank you for the yeah. schedule. So thank you for the yeah. schedule. Yeah. I can see if you can check files on any of the ones that we're not able to do that. Then that's plenty. Okay, more than some. Thank you. Okay, got it. Sounds good. Do you have any vacation plans that you are going to email? Go personally. The the complication right now is 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 not um, an area where I'm accepted to have confidence at all. <laughs> so, uh, but your question so is, should I ask? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I won't be here. Probably both meetings in July. Okay. I have my meeting. Well, you can zoom in. I could, oh, yeah, that's right. That's an exceptional service. Okay. I will be here for the first meeting slide. The, the issue is not Zoom, so, so, and we can all zoom in. The, the okay. point is, we have to have a physical forum, which is in the, in the room, which is four. So we could have three Zoomers. Um, I won't be here then. Are we good? Everybody here and see? Uh, thanks very much for the. Patience. 
on getting our tech done. So uh, meetings call to order. Good morning, everybody. Let's take a look at the uh, minutes uh, from, the, from the prior meeting. The public hearing first. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm going to do that. So let's open the public hearing. Walter? Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes. Can you hear me? Thanks yes. so much, Walter, and, and good morning. Uh, as Jan pointed good morning. out, you're on first. Great. Um, then I will attempt to share my screen if that's appropriate. Okay. So, and if we can help here, we will. I know great. that uh, Jan probably may have gotten the app. I don't know if she got the uh, thing you sent out last night on uh, on stairs and stuff, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I I'll be very brief. Um, can you all see what's on my screen now? Sure. Great. So um, this, this is this is about an exterior stairs on at the Alger House. Uh, yes, but I'm going to show you some interior stairs uh, first, and then run through the presentation very quickly, and then we can discuss. So, um, looking for historical precedents and ideas about stairs that were new at the time the Alger House was built. This very amusing uh, caricature by Thomas Rowlandson of the stair at the British Museum shows an endless procession to get up a very short flight of stairs. But what I want to point out is the fashion at the time was for essentially a vertically filled metal rail and an exposed what I call channel riser there. They were going for an element of lightness. And this was a period in history, and this is very important for the Alger House, where uh, iron and steel were being introduced as major building elements, and most of the major buildings in Europe, classical buildings in the 19th century, were built with a good amount of iron and steel in them. So that is an important precedent. Mr. Alger owned an ironworks. There are enormous iron castings all around the house. So I believe that this has precedent. Um, this is another random example of a beautiful 19th century style stair. Um, metal stair. I think this is a uh, wrought iron versus cast iron. And this uh, shows, for instance, that you can have an open riser and it's characterized by a very light, delicate railing with very minimal amounts of detail. So moving into the 20th century, this is a sort of modern equivalent of that. And this uh, has a lot of the same features, but it's been stripped of ornament. It has vertical um, pickets here for the railing, very simple handrail here, and what's called an exposed stringer, although in this case, they've kind of cut away the upper part to show the actual stair, whereas what we're proposing would be closed. And finally, this is a sort of de minimis modern uh, metal staircase that represents um, both the apotheosis of the architectural pr progression, which I just showed, and also meets code. And I'm going to say very quickly that my frustration in the past with railings in Hudson is we were under the impression that if it was a historic building, you didn't have to meet all of the elements of the building code. And we got stairs approved by HPC only to have all of the beautiful details obliterated and the blank spots filled in by the necessary vertical or horizontal railings, which must not allow more than a four inch ball to pass at any point. So you see this railing that's on the side here, while it's almost invisible in my mind, and if it was painted a different color, it would be even more invisible, it meets the building code. And that is what we're attempting to do here. So I'm just gonna switch very quickly. Can you all see that? Or do I need to go back out? Do you see, do you see the letter now? Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, sorry, we'll just remind everybody, these two uh, stairs are the stairs in question. This is Allen Street here. So this stair will be visible from the street. Those of you who know the house know we've just rebuilt the limestone wall here. So this is going to be a very beautiful terrace. And our hope is that this stair will be transparent so that when you have the risers here, you're looking through 
and actually seeing beyond you from the side you would see the solid stringer here and the treads would be on like those photographs i just showed but when you're actually oblique to the stair both of these stairs they would be almost invisible and so finally here is a shot so I'd like you to imagine that only the dark bits would be solid and everything else you can see through because again, what we're trying to do is highlight the beautiful limestone facade that they spent a fortune uh, restoring below the water table there. And so again, our contention is this very light stair will just clip on there in an elegant way and not detract from the architecture. And that's my presentation. Okay. Well, Walter, thank you very much. Uh, and thanks for bringing in all the additional material. Uh, public hearing uh, is uh, for us to be informed by the public and, and receive comment. Uh, I'm not seeing the screen that well, but somebody will help me out. Ron, Carol, Christabel. Okay. Ron, Ron, in, in any order, who's on first? John? Ronald's hand is raised. Ronald? Uh, hello, this is Matt uh, McGee speaking. Uh, I, I too have researched and I strictly looked at uh, Gothic style houses for this period. And in no case did I find a historic stairway with ironwork. They were wood and stone. Uh, a lot of the buildings were designed quite low to the ground, so there were no railings. Uh, this house happens to have a railing on it, which I believe would uh, come to code. It's a beautiful railing on the entry to the main door. There's a small porch and it's a Gothic design made of wood. It's very nice and very simple. And I think it would be very appropriate to either replicate this or do something similar to it. The interior stairs in the house are also quite similar in their design. It's, it's a small arch, very simple and that forms the railing, the spokes, and it's all elegant and original to the house. And I think it would be a, a very nice, especially on the side visible from Allen Street. And also I had another concern. I was wondering about the window on the uh, main facade, the staircase window. Uh, as it is, I, I can't tell if it's meant is a work in progress or if, if it's unfinished or an intended to, or is that the way it's supposed to be done? As it is, there's an arch above the window and this doesn't comport with the uh, historic engraving of the house. There's a drip molding over the window. And that arch that's there is, is really a load bearing arch that was central to the wall and not meant to be seen. There should be no visible arch there. The wall should be completely flat right up to the window with the drip mode. And they've done this on the rear of the house, above the square bay, which they're putting the stairs on. Um, and it, it's built in in a manner that isn't alien to the design of the house. And I, I don't know, you know exactly what it's intended here, but as it stands, it's art architecturally alien and incorrect. And I believe it should be addressed. Thank you. 
I also had a concern about the footers and other indicators of the location of the veranda that was on, on the back of the house and wrapping around some where there's the greenhouse now. We're we're easy you a little bit in that. I'm I'm uh, just I'm I'm losing track of the conversation. Uh, you I mean, you're raising stuff that is not part of this application. You're just quite well. I it is, uh, the application has to do with the Alter House, and I think that this is an opportunity to try to protect an element of the house that is very important. And unfortunately, it's not being restored. Uh, but there are there are the footers for the post that supported the port, the veranda. There are three of them in place, and there may be others that are covered over with dirt. One of the three now is covered, but the two of them are still exposed. And at that level, there was originally a brick patio, uh, which is partly there also. But my main concern is that there is a stone on the side of the house coming out for Second Street, which marks how far out the veranda came. And then there are the three footers over toward that wall for the the upper lawn uh, still in place. And I think there should be a protected feature of the landmarked site and, and kept and preserved so that this information is available for future consideration. If someone may want to put this really architecturally distinctive feature back at some time, and they will know where it was located in its outline. So I and the engraving shows quite a lot, you know, you can see how it was constructed and everything. So I I think this is something to consider yeah. and protect. Thank That's you. not practical. No, it's not. And I think um, if there's an issue there, we, we should learn about it, but we should have documentation and and we should determine if it's our problem or if it's code enforcement's problem. It we would, certainly want to know about it. I agree. Uh, okay. Look, the, I'm, I'm sure what you're saying is going to be very helpful. Uh, we should uh, we'll record that and follow up on it. But the subject in front of the commission and, and the public right now uh, is the exterior stairs, and and you did comment well on that, so I appreciate it. Who else has their hand up? Anyone else? You said Carol. I oh, didn't see your hand up. I'm just looking at the public. Oh, I see. Uh, anyone else from the public have comment? Going once, going twice. Uh, we'll close the public hearing and go on to ordinary uh, course of business. Thank you all. Uh, review the minutes. The commission will review the draft minutes from the meeting of May 12th. Uh, Commissioners, you all good? You have a motion? Yeah, I'm good. I'll uh, second. Paul and you, all in favor? Aye. Minutes are approved. Thank you so much, Jan. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six C of A votes. First up is 330 Allen Street. Yes. Uh, questions or comments or can you go anywhere? Sorry, just a second. <coughs> Uh, 330 Allen Street. This was the uh, fence, the stockade, uh, like for like replacement along the back alley, and the addition of the picket that they wanted to extend the picket. Motion to approve. Hugh. 
Second, Miranda, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Done. Uh, 102 Union Street. Okay. <clears throat> Um, okay, this, this is the, uh, let's see. Okay, it's over this, the, this was the staircase that goes to the street instead of the backyard. Oh, yes. That, so they're, they're replaced, they're switching out the, the side, I think it's First Street, Victoria. Uh, they're switching the doorway with the window. So that they can have the doorway go into the backyard right. along, uh, mm -hmm. is it, I think, Second Street or First Street. Correct. Uh, if there are no questions or comments, motion to approve. Aye. Uh, Paul and Hugh, all in favor? Aye. Are there any opposed? Uh, 240 Allen Street Group. This is the group. They were flattening the roof. It was deep and putting a, a deck on it on the top, it seemed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second. Kim and John, all in favor? Five. Are there any opposed? Sure. 45 Allen. Allen. This is the extensive rear renovation. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. getting uh, taking removing the ground level rear mm -hmm. and re terracing and re landscaping and uh, and putting fence mm -hmm. continuing fence along the, the east side and putting new fence along the or south side. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Jen. Paul and anybody, you all in favor? Aye. Are there any folks approved? Uh, 724 726 Columbia Street. Oh, yeah, this is another ultrasound way that make motion. Yes, this is the um, the discovery of the auto uh, with the plate glass. Yeah, and they want to bring that back. I see the signage of that. Cool. Mm -hmm. you and Kim. All in favor? Aye. Are there any opposed? Approved. Uh, 207 Allen. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this was the uh, two gentlemen. One was in person, one was on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. They yes. The, the three townhomes, 203, 205, 207. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the Kim and uh, John, all in favor. Are there any opposed? Unanimously approved. Okay, folks, I will uh, sign and scan uh, everything that uh, was approved. We'll get that to uh, code enforcement and to the city website uh, on Monday. Uh, any any problems or concerns just should not let me know. But uh, but that's a schedule and perfect everywhere. That is is the business for today. I just want to check: is Craig on? No, no, he's, he's uh, on vacation. Okay, so I'm not sure he had an opportunity to review uh, uh, the application. Uh, for the Alfred staircase, because uh, I, I believe I got it directly from uh, Walter and not from Greg. Uh, uh, my uh, my proposal commission is that uh, we go into full full discussion uh, at the next meeting on that staircase, and if folks want to do some additional research uh, on that, that might be a good thing. Kim, what do you think? I, I, I think we should defer the, the discussion on the on the Alger House and the and the vote on that until the next meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go look at the peak. I want to go look at the I want to go look at the uh, element that was referenced. Yeah. Yes. If anybody gets there, maybe we should send a pick around. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Right. 
Thanks. Terrific. Uh, I think that's our business for today. Thanks, everyone. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>